Hi, this is Josh, pharmacist with PharmacistTips.com. Going to show you today how to use the Relyon Premier Control Solution, Glucose Control Solution. This is the control solution for a line of meters sold by Walmart. They use the Relyon Premier test strips. The three meters are the Relyon Blue, the Relyon Boys, and then the Relyon Compact. The compact is the cheapest of them, uh, and it is it has the fewest functions. It doesn't it only saves ten readings, doesn't have time or anything in there. So that is the simplest, easiest one to use. We'll just run through how to do the control solution on all three meters. Now, control solution is recommended to practice to get a feel for how to use the meter. It's recommended uh, when you use a new vial of test strips, or if you think your readings are inaccurate, you can also use it. <clears throat> if the meter has been damaged or dropped. Now, in reality, most people use control solution very infrequently. Typically, if I have a reading or if somebody has a reading that doesn't seem quite right, they just take a different reading or many people will just have a backup meter. But the manufacturer does recommend using it in those situations. So first of all, this is the Reliant control solution. Before using it, you want to shake it well and remove the lid. The manufacturer recommends discarding the first couple drops on a clean tissue and then you want a clean surface to put the control solution on. In this case we're just going to use the lid. Okay, so there's this drop there. We'll put the, the rely on test strip in there. Okay, it's saying apply the blood, so we can just apply that. Okay, it's reading 134. So what does that mean? Well, this is rely on control solution level one, and you need to look at the test strips, the bottle of test strips that you used in this test, and see level one um, control solution should for level one control solution should be between 119 and 161. So we're smack dab in the middle there. That would be fine. If we we're using control solution level two, we'd want to see that reading fall between 205 and 227. These numbers are different or can be different for each a bottle of test strips. So you want to refer directly to the bottle of test strips you're using in the control test. Now we'll, I'll show you how to do this with the Rely on Blue. It's the same basic principle, except you just want to con flag it as a control solution test so it doesn't get calculated into your 7 and 14 day averages or saved in your meter as one of your blood sugar readings. So you insert the strip and then you hold down the button on the right hand side and that will cause, it'll be a flashing control solution in the corner. Now again, you would typically discard the first drop or two and then put this, but we already have some control solutions, so we'll just use that. There we go, 149. So that again, that falls within the acceptable range for this vial of test strips with, for control solution level one. All right, so that was, we held down the the button on the right hand side for three seconds to get that control solution and that way it won't interfere with the averages of our other readings. The third meter, the rely on voice, it's the same thing except you hold down the button on the left hand side instead of the right to notate that you're doing a control solution test. So again we put the strip in, this is the premier voice. Please apply blood onto the test strip. You hold down. Control solution test. So that Please apply a control solution onto the test strip. So we held down the left side for three seconds, and now it's notating control solution. And we just do, again, the same procedure. Your control solution test result is 137 milligram per deciliter. Okay, 137, right in the acceptable range with these test strips. So 
That is the procedure for the control solution. Again, you know, manufacturer recommends each batch of test strips when you use the meter for the first time to practice your technique, things like that. But in reality, I find people seem to use it very infrequently. Uh, but if you feel, uh, especially if you're type 1 diabetic and your readings are extremely important, I mean, use it whenever you feel like you need to. Type 2 diabetics, you know, we're watching for trends and things like that, so you probably don't need to use it as frequently. Again, you can check with your doctor. Um, the control solution is not available in the stores. You get it directly from um, Walmart or whatever company they hire to do it. You call the number um, on the back of your meter or the 800 number on the test strips. It's the same number. Call them. Uh, they'll ask you, you know, what kind of meter you have, and then you they'll send that to you at, at this time it's no charge so um, you get that directly from them probably don't need to use it a lot but you know if you feel your readings are off and you don't have a backup meter to check that you want to use the control solution that just helps ensure your test strips and your meter are working properly go ahead and ask any questions in the comments below if you appreciate videos like these i would appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my channel thanks for watching